It's Sean Lime here for Streaming Media Producer at NAB 2023. I'm here with Dan from Bird Dog, and we're gonna be talking today about the X120. So, I mean, a lot of viewers are familiar with their higher end products, the P400, the P4K, I mean, beautiful, larger sensor uh, PTZ cameras, but here you've got a very affordable 995 US dollar PTZ camera. Tell us some of the, the features of this one. What makes this one so special? Absolutely. I think probably the most exciting thing about this product, the X120, is we bought all of that uh, functionality we have in our bird dog cameras. We use high quality Sony sensors, great glass optics, and have that great workflow with all of our tools. And we bought that to a whole new price point. Uh, we've added some really cool new features as well to fit in with people that are doing live streaming and doing event type work, like our Wi-Fi connectivity. So this is the first PTZ camera that supports NDI that's Wi-Fi as well. It doesn't mean you can't do wired Ethernet. Of course, you can plug it in like a regular PTZ. It gives you exceptionally high picture quality, particularly for the price. But even apart from the price, it gives you exceptionally high picture quality. But then gives you all the usual tools that you used to with bird dog cameras, like a uh, OLED screen so you can see the configuration of the camera, a big tally light over the top so you know which camera is going live at any time. Uh, we've also got our color correction tools within the camera, which is something that's kind of a signature now of our cameras, where you can adjust all of your color matrix directly inside the camera. For example, quite often if you're looking at a video where someone's wearing uh, red clothing or bright blue clothing, it can get really hot and look kind of fake. Uh, with the uh, bird dog cameras, and it, even with this X120, you can uh, just reduce a little bit just individual colors and get them looking exactly as they are in, in the natural uh, view. So on top of that, the X120 being a really small camera, it actually joins up with our brand new software that goes with it as well, which is an iPad control software. So it turns your iPad into a full NDI viewer. You can view any NDI source, including the X120, control that camera, recall presets, adjust all your color, do that completely wirelessly as well. So you got not only getting a wireless camera, but then also your monitor using your iPad is also wireless. That's fantastic. So let's talk a little bit about the flavors of NDI, a bit of an overview, and then which version are you utilizing here? Fantastic, yes. So Bird Dog, we were the first people to put NDI into a piece of hardware and we've been really famous for using what we call full or high bandwidth NDI and that gives you the ultimate picture quality and low latency really low latency in fact uh, this camera here we've actually introduced a bird dog version of NDI HX3 which really keeps that latency down as low as possible but NDI HX is a format that's been around for a little while now and it's used in a lot of other PTZ cameras uh, it allows you to do a, a lower bandwidth or a more high efficiency uh, compression so in the bird dog implementation of that, we're seeing the exceptionally high quality pictures that we have from our sensors and the, uh, the cameras, then being processed into that NDI HX3. So it, it joins in with bird dog's philosophy of providing the highest quality pictures. And what we're seeing in terms of that overall workflow and latency is really very impressive. The cool thing with that, we've also added in the capabilities within all of the bird dog products now to support both uh, our signature full NDI, but also do NDI HX. So for us, we think there's, um, there's actually kind of some, uh, some use cases where NDI-HX is great, like Wi-Fi, for example. But then if you're working in a studio, you can go for some of our higher end cameras that will give you the ultimate in low latency. I think in many ways, I, I appreciate that you started off with the full version and waited until HX3 came out before you implemented it because it kind of keeps that latency and, and the needs of your users at top of mind. Yeah, it really fits into the into our ecosystem really well. So in the, in the X120, it gives us the um, yeah the portability, the size of the camera, and that Wi-Fi compatibility works great on NDI HX3. We can even support HX2 on the camera as well. So, But it's really, it's been the right time, I think, in terms of the, how we can bring that camera together with the quality and join it in with the rest of the ecosystem. Yeah. So you talked about the color shading and, and that's really awesome to have, but sometimes users just want a simple way to color match cameras together. Yeah. Um, and so talk to me about that. What's new in terms of the, the ability to use uh, Kelvin color temperatures and, and why was that missing potentially in, in the past? Yeah, so there's, um, there's a couple of different ways to, to adjust colors and get them right. Obviously there's you know, this hue and saturation where you can you know, adjust the kind of overall you know, broad brush balances. We can also use our color shading where you can get into individual colors. But like you say, quite often you just want to tune it in to make it look pretty good. And that's where with the X120 uh, camera, we can just choose a, a, a light uh, temperature. So Kelvin uh, temperatures and get it in and you'll find actually it works really well in terms of image quality and getting a pretty close uh, color match just on that um, on the color temperature of the light. Yeah. And, but that's that's exclusive to the X120, the, the Kelvin at this point? It's actually in uh, our X120 and also the P110 and 120 cameras as well. It's a feature that was requested by some of our customers and it again shows how bird dog work. Uh, if we have features requested, then we'll do our best to bring them in. And it's, uh, it's a great 
functionality. Fantastic. Um, a little bit of tech spec. So uh, let's talk sensor size. Let's yeah. talk about the zoom range and and the lens ramping uh, from wide to telephoto. Absolutely, yeah. So it's a it's a twenty times zoom. So it actually is a really quite a long zoom. Yeah. And when you actually look at it, it's amazing how far in that twenty times throws. Uh, a lot of smaller cameras, particularly this size, will only be ten times uh, in terms of their um, their capabilities. So twenty times zoom. Uh, in terms of the um, uh, the clarity of that, it's all glass, so it's a, a really high quality zoom. Again, a lot of cameras uh, don't have that same quality that comes with that. Uh, in terms of uh, the sensor size, it's a 1 over 2.5. So it's a, um, it's a reasonable size sensor for the type of camera that this is. But if you actually look at the image quality, the behavior or how it works in low light is really incredible. And again, that's owing itself to the types of sensors that we use within our cameras, which makes, again, Bird Dog really quite unique. We build our own cameras from the ground up. We specify exactly what uh, sensors we use and we build all of the electronics inside. And then, of course, all of the interfaces that go on top. So they're purpose built for production in mind. Okay. And how is that lens in terms of when you're wide and, and telephoto in terms of the f-stop there? Yeah, so it's a f1.6, um, so you can get you know, really quite nice pictures, it's very bright. Uh, you can even get uh, you know, a little bit of bokeh effect as well, which is uh, <laughs> what some people are searching for. Uh, and then obviously you can close that right down if you've got some really particularly bright environments. Which brings me on to another feature which is really key in a lot of our cameras, is we also have a filtering on the front. So in a really bright environment, you can put an ND on the top. Uh, you can also put in polarizing filters and things as well. So if you're using it in some challenging environments, you can really get the optics looking fantastic. Yeah. And we're looking what an F, is it about F3 when we're full telephoto? Uh, I don't have that. I think it's 2.8. 2.8 somewhere yep. in there? Okay. Yep. So, which is very reasonable. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, it's kind of the nice thing too with the smaller sensor is that the lens doesn't have to stop down as much because sometimes in those larger ones, right, the more telephoto you that's get, right, yeah. you're getting to 4.8, 5.6 and whatnot. And yeah, it starts to get pretty, it's uh, a big, pretty big locked difference. down, that's right. Yeah. yeah, Excellent. So it's a great price point on this camera there. Um, it's it's one of those type of uh, workflows that, you know, I, I even see it as like you're not going to buy one, but you might even just buy four or five of them. You might go crazy on it because, you know, the, the cost of one of this versus the cost of one large sensor, you can get multiples of them. That's right. And again, the um, the quality you get out of it and then the flexibility having multiple cameras works amazingly well. We also have announced a battery plate for this guy as well. So being completely untethered, um, it's just amazing. You can drop cameras around. We've even got, even at the NAB show floor where there's Wi-Fi and mobile service everywhere, we've got some of these cameras running on Wi-Fi and working perfectly. So it's, um, yeah. that shows you the power of that Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. And obviously it's, it's POE powered, right? Course, so it yeah. doesn't have to only be DC powered. Absolutely not. It's uh, completely PoE powered as well. So you can have that one cable solution, which is uh, what a lot of people want when you're putting that in. It's just a one cable and you're away. All right. Hey, thank you very much, Dan. Thank you so much. It's a very exciting camera. This is the uh, X120 from Bird Dog at NAB 2023. I'm Sean Lamb for Streaming Media Producer.